This dark continent has crouched for years in the chains of a barbaric slavery. Now is the hour. Stores, supplies, food, ammunition. Week by week, month by month, year by weary year, we have watched the accumulation of these prime necessities of battle. But after four years to the very month since we were hurled off the continent of Europe, we have enough to go back for the final showdown. Four years, the armies of the Allies have been learning to fight the new way in total war, learning by practice at home and by bitter, deadly battles abroad. Four years from the time when we hadn't enough bayonets to go round to this, and this was just the rehearsal. Hitler had hoped to dominate the world. As the days of spring moved on to summer in 1944, the air assault grew to fantastic proportions. This is what has been happening in the early days of June. Communique from Supreme Headquarters. Under the command of General Eisenhower, Allied naval forces supported by strong air forces began landing Allied armies this morning on the northern coast of France. A few days before, Mr. Churchill had been down to the coast to see the men whose job it was to be to make the first landings on the beaches of northern France. Admiral Ramsey, the Allied Naval Commander-in-Chief, is responsible for carrying the troops across the channel. And then at last, the men themselves begin to go on board. First, to wait through what must seem centuries then to begin the greatest invasion in all the blood-stained history of war. How wonderful they look.
between these men and the first big scale landing in Normandy. These are paratroopers of the 9th Air Force about to get aboard their big troop carrying planes. bombardment of Nazi-occupied Europe continued all that night of the 5th, 6th of June. These are a few of the marauders going ahead to blast the coastal defences and defenders. Down below is the island of Alderney. D-Day will bring a message of hope to these tragic Channel Isles with the first rays of dawn light. those many thousands of ships on board the heroic vanguard of the forces of liberation. In this tremendous hour, we shall not rejoice too soon. Instead, let us pray for the success of our arms. Let us pray for the safety of our men. Let us pray for the skill, the determination, and the wisdom of our leaders. Let us pray for swift and lasting victory. This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the truth to the free peoples of the world. installment of the newsreel record of the invasion of Western Europe. This cameraman with British paratroops and airborne units surveys their assortment of weapons. And he reproduces their air of calm good humor. 